nicely cleared. That's another no for the short corner routine. Bidwell being forced to chase by Brown here, and he's got the ball, Callum ready. Too well to go himself. Brown against Bidwell. Yeah! left all exposed from that corner and the sheer pace of Callum Brown and his second game for the season was the one-on-one -on -one with Pitchford look at that nice part of the side netting there he had to aim for and he's put the Knights 1-0 ahead I think Callum on this occasion Barnard with the chest now Bidwell charging into the box Eddie Bidwell back post Fitzgerald Maxi Fitzgerald, he's taken the gloves off and he's scored another goal for his side. Talk about making amends. Eddie Bidwell, some would say a little bit at fault for that first night's goal. That's the way to make up for it. Get the assist. He's not looking after me here, Eddie Bidwell. He's not even <laughs> giving me a chance to write up that last goal. I don't think he's happy that I tried to steal one off him last time I did one of them. There he is with the searching ball out towards the score of Brown. Missed by Park. He's in again. Brown! What a volley! Set up perfectly for the youngster. No keeper in the world is saving that with power like that. And the Knights have gone 2-1 in front. I thought that first goal was a good finish from him. That one is just on another level altogether, really. As you say, he's only played a couple of games this year and we can see what they've been missing now. Yeah, the way that's set up for him, Park just misread it. And even that touch, there was assume it's going to get there. And look at the power on that from Callum Brown. He almost Stone and Fitzgerald over the ball. Joel Stone takes over the wall. Top corner! Joel Stone with the magical free kick. He's hit that top bins. And that is the quality of Joel Stone. He's been on fire so far this season. And to be fair, I reckon that just about exceeds the one here the other week. Yep, I think that's about as good as it gets from that spot. We said he'd been looking to shoot all afternoon and from a free oh. kick. Nothing stopping him, and that's what happens. The captain. Champoli, he's got space to turn here. Barnard charging forward. So is Fitzgerald. Let's it go. Barnard. Barnard! The fox in the box! Two in a minute for the strikers. Huge celebration from the Fox. Three two strikers. And they're probably deserving of at least just that from the territorial advantage they've had. Can't even keep up with the typing on the blog here, can Dooley. I've got to say I didn't even see that goal, so I'm <laughs> glad we've got the replays here. I don't one of course. It was Stone. This one in the centre. Keeper comes out. Rising goes by Rady off the post. Barnard with his double. The Fox in the box. Well, he was probably a little stiffed off to start on Monday in the Cup final. And he's shown his coach why he should be starting. Two goals for the Fox. And then he's probably game over. Mulraney. That's the third time the strikers have hit the post. Not quite being able to get the Knights back within one goal. Now Barnard lays it back to Bidwell. I want to get on the score sheet himself here, Eddie Bidwell, and he does! Bidwell with the fifth for the Strikers. Hadn't scored a goal for the Strikers in the NPL before the start of this season. He's come on strong with his move forward. And after a great assist in the first half, gets himself on the score sheet. Yeah, he's been another one who's played a really good game for the Strikers, and I think he deserved to get his name on the score sheet because he's, he's set a lot up for them today. 